Hi everyone, myself Manoj here. Uh, today I was just looking into this file, a prop which was received from a vendor. Uh, as you can see, there are rigs here, right? Uh, the moment I press file, I'm not able to see anything. Uh, the mesh are not visible. But if I check the data, the data is there. That means this file is containing some data, but those data are not visible. Like the, those those mesh data are not visible in the viewport. And as you can also see, there is a default under layer default and a layer with a uh, uh, with a numeric of file right a default and a layer file that means this file is containing a multiple default and a layer nodes so and uh, as I was saying like you know it was containing a mesh file mesh data if I go into outline and if I select any mesh it will be snapped to grid with zero access so that means you know it has mesh but it's been snapped to some kind of zero it's not the Maya is not able to understand that because th all those mesh are skinned so there is some skinning or there is some data which is not uh, no not which is uh, which has been not able to be understand by my the in by this interface or by Maya and due to which is not displaying those those data that's what so how to how to recover this you know how to recover this file how how should I recover all my mesh how am I how should what should I do you know to 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 make sure all this mesh are visible because everything is on here and how to recover this default and layer also so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look into the script editor here so i'm gonna go into script editor and i'm and i'm uh, as i can see here okay now we have an issue here now this is we have an issue as nan now what what nan means now as you can see there is a there is a nan error right and what else do we have okay and we also have an unknown plugins so it means all these plugins are not installed in my plugin path or not available in my plugin path. So that's why Maya is like skipping all these plugins and I think that's the reason why it was taking some time to open the file also. Yeah. So there are there are ways of removing this. Either you can make create a mail script or a API callback command, a Python script. Or what we can do the best way I would say is you know uh, open the file in the text editor and remove all the unwanted required nodes. And just keep only those required nodes which are which are required for your project basically and jumping into nan now what nan is now what this nan basically means nan means this nan you know, this means not a number it means it's a value it's a value that represents an unspecified value with a floating point that's what that's what nan basically means and and uh, this error mostly occurs you know uh, Whenever there is a, uh, whenever there is an unspecified value, basically, due to which the interface or the algorithm is not able to understand, basically, and due due to which the interface is not able to, so sorry, I used the term algorithm. I didn't mean that. Uh, due to which the interface is not able to understand that specific data or the specific value, and that's why it's not you know, able to display that specific data or that mm, it's not able to display that specific data. Yeah. So even NAN has different types. There are different types of NAN. I would say, you know, um, there are NAN. We can. I, I think I've written it down. I think I've, I've written it down here. Yeah. There are different types of NAN, right? You know, it's called hash INF, hash Q NAN, hash S NAN. As we are already seeing this in the script editor, hash S NAN and hash IND. I think I never faced this issue. Yeah. But I faced these three things. So hash INF mostly occurs in your UV sets, guys. So whenever your UV sets are stretching, and when you press F in your UV text editor, and at that times you know your UV is not visible at that time. So that means you know just save the file, open the file, and look for hash INF. So there might be a chance just like you know your UV set set attribute UV sets might be having an hash INF uh, hash INF error in those. So and yes now what this hash INF means hash INF means when there is a too much amount of uh, positive and negative number when there is a large amount of positive and negative number at that time only this hash INF error occurs and this Q9 and S9 as I told you it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a value basically you know uh, it's a value uh, it's it, it's a value that represents uh, an unspecified value with uh, with a floating type as you can see there is a NAN float error right that's an end float error. So, how to resolve this, and how how we can resolve this? As you can see, there is also an error called a set attribute dot bw. Now, bw is blend uh, blend weight. This is what that attribute is, and this is what the type is. Either it's a float or there is a double type. Now, what I mean to say type. Now, what what I 
what I mean to say type is type means uh, if I'm going to add attribute here, uh, this is what the type I mean to say float or you know, double booleans uh, strings. Now that's what type is. So as you can see, you know, state attribute dot blend weight. Now this is what the type is, and it's giving me a negative nan uh, or negative nan. Yeah, that's what it's giving me a negative s nan. So s nan and q nan guys, they both are like similar basically. You know, if you look into s nan and q nan, they both are like similar. So, you know, there is not much difference. It basically uh, represents an unspecified. That's what I as I said before. It basically represents you know these two basically represents an unspecified value with a floating point. But hash inf when you know I mean when there is uh, whenever there is a two large or positive or negative number at that time, there are chances like you know uh, the file might contain your file might be saved as hash inf basically um, that's what hash int i've never faced this i never got this error the moment i get this i will surely surely share a tutorial with you all and uh, how to how to solve this hash int error basically so to solve the nan issue to solve the q nan s nan and high enough issue the only one way or any of this issue any of this nan issue any of the issue related to you know, nan errors the only one way of doing it, you know, you, do, you have to open the file in the text editor. You might have to open the file in the text editor like Notepad++ and just have to replace with a specified value. Whatever the value has to be specified with with a specified value because NAN itself is an unspecified value, right? With floating point, as I said. So we just have to replace that unspecified value with a specified value. That's all. And, and then you just have to save that. And when you reopen the file, you will be able to see those data which was containing an unspecified value due to which it was not able to due to which the interface was not able to read it and display it basically and we would be able to see that so now let me open that file and let me just now press control and let me open the file in uh, notepad plus plus notepad oh wow so now yeah this is saying that you know this requires a Maya 17 of course Maya 17 is what the file has been saved in and this is what it requires and as you can see there are a lot of plugins here a lot of plugin nodes oh my god a lot of plugin nodes and as I said the project was completely on Arnold so only plugin node that I need is this required node type Arnold I don't need any other plugin nodes and the stereo camera is by default on 17 it's by default on so either you can you know if you if this is on in your plugin plugin and shape so it will be saving with this otherwise it won't be saving with this so rest all is like you know unwanted which is not needed for me to uh, which is not needed in the specific project that we are working in currently so i will just delete all the unwanted plugins even mental ray i don't need so and uh, and i'll be also not needing total cool and i'll be searching more for like uh, mental ray let me check i'll searching more for like total because total do contains lock node right yeah and create ILR as you can see now create ILR options all these are like total nodes with lock nodes I will be deleting those so that you know whenever I reopen the file it should not be giving me an unknown, unknown node error or something so I will be so also searching for mental way like stuff. just type in mental that's it ok and, and I and just type in MI uh, fine ticket we can delete the mental node by the outliner also so not an issue so yeah the f two things what you have done here is now we have deleted all the required plugins which are not even VRA this is not needed because yeah file info and VRA that's not needed for me uh, whatever the unwanted required nodes whether I have deleted that and uh, and also deleted the uh, ILR options that is uh, the total from searching and just which was containing a lock node so we deleted that those also for mental ray we can just delete it from the outline itself so that's not a problem and now what we are going to search is for the nan so how i'm going to search that you know as, as you have seen in the error here like you know it's containing a prefix uh, called as hash now that's the prefix that what we are going to use you know, to search for not the s nan not entirely this i'm just going to use this because there can be any other nan also right there can be s nan there can be you know inf there can be q nan so i'm just, just going to look for hash so i'm going to type in here hash and the moment i so sir yes there is a q nan also as you, as you see here right there's a q nan also so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace the minus one q nan 
okay not 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 this x i'm not gonna select this x right i'm just gonna select this and i'm gonna replace with the positive value of blend weight blend weight one blend weight one and two means one means linear and two means quadratic i don't know yeah so i'm just gonna replace uh i'm sorry 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 for that I'm just gonna replace with uh one that's it and no other no other values as two or something cool okay just gonna replace with one so replace all and i'm also again gonna search for hash because there should be an snan also as it was showing yes there is an snan i'll be selecting this snan and i'll be replacing the blend weight of one positive one so replace all cool. and again i'll be searching for hash so is there any other no there is no other nan errors like that there is no other nan types now rest all nan has been cleared out and now the next thing is what we are going to do is as we, as we have seen you know the file was containing a, a default render layer right so how i'm going to delete that now i'm going to search for default the file was containing a default render layer five right yeah so i'm going to search for default render layer five and i'm going to search that yeah and i'm going to replace this with default render layer that's it so replace all okay cool and i'm going to save this file now and I'm gonna close this. And let me just clear history. And again, I'm gonna reopen the file. And now you can see the file has been opened up and, and a very quick uh, started loading up. And I can s you can also see the master layer here instead of default under layer five. But still, the default under layer is not cleared, guys. We need to clear this off. You know that is still there in outliners, I think. And you can you are able to see all the mesh and as you can see if I, if I move the rig everything is you know we can we are able to see the inputs also and the outputs also right previously if i select a mesh i was not able to see the inputs here so now i'm able to see the inputs of this mesh also so i'm gonna drag here and yeah everything is working cool and now i'm gonna clean this file as i said now we can uh, even cell sex wow even this has been recovered very nice so what I'm going to do the next stage is I'm going to delete the default render layers which are not needed, the unwanted de uh, default render layers. For that I'm going to do is um, by default when you open an outline, uh, no, your display tag is on, right? So make sure your display tag is off. So I'm going to search for a prefix called a star def star. Now what the star def star means? Any uh, any alphabet which is def in between or in 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 front or in between. So any prefix that has a def is going to be know displaying all those names which have which contains these three alphabets so as you can see here as i told you like you know there might be another default render layer also so i'm going to select all the unwanted default render layers now this is the icon for the default render layers right select and i'm going to delete this now this is just the one default render layer i have and plus same goes for my default layer also that's the one default layer i have as i say here you know as i told you like you know this is this was my mental ray node like you know mi default and mi default option mi default frame buffer select that and i'm gonna delete those also and i'm also gonna search for star uh, mental star no nope, there is no there is no mental ray node star mi star no nope, there is no mental ray node here and uh, there is clusters tweaks okay cool the file is the file is almost clean fine okay and what is what is this? Oh, these are the shader names for which we might have to rename it later on. I'll do that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, your file is you know your file is good to go. The last the last thing you have to do is you know whenever you recover any file, make sure you select everything and the cell sets and just you know export selection. Make sure uh, you preserve references off because if there is a reference pin called here, even those things will be exported. So make sure this is off and make sure this is on so that it's exported with the shaders and the textures and export selection and i'm gonna rename this to one and the moment i do that yes my file has been exported and i'm gonna use the exported file to publish this in my library cool so that's all guys hope this was helpful and uh, hope the nan errors was helpful for you you know if you face this kind of issues in future make sure you you know try looking for all those hash nans errors basically and if you have any default and layers make sure you rename by the text editor 
and then you delete all the unwanted defaulted layers and if there is a unknown plugins make sure you know since you're working on a project you know which plugins do you need so rest all plugins you can delete it but uh, and then once you reopen the file you can see the uh, fraction of seconds it took to open the file but whenever there is a require unknown plugins in the beginning it will take a lot of time it might take a lot of seconds of time to open because you know first it has to read all those plugins and then it has to read your file hierarchies basically so it's gonna take time so once you delete all those unknown plugins your file will take just a fraction of seconds to start loading to, to get the loading bar quicker basically and I uh, hope this was helpful guys and uh, that's all thank you uh, thanks for watching and keep sharing knowledge thank you and yes, uh, if in future if I get an a hash and error, I'll surely share a tutorial with you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.